The Flash, 798. Jeremy Adams writing with Fernando Pissarin and Will Robson on the art. So mm-hmm. we just start off with the new baby. Yeah. Wade West. Uh, right. It took me this entire issue to realize why he's named Wade. Go on. Uh, I feel it's an homage to Mark Wade, right? Well, I mean, it's spelled differently, but, you know, I felt like maybe naming him Jeff would be a little bit too on the nose. But so I feel like Wade as, <laughs> as his name, as someone that, you know, is known for his Flash run that, you know, Wade, Wade had like, what, eight or nine years? Throughout the 90s on Flash. Yeah, and it was all Wally West stuff, pretty much. Yeah, but it was all, yeah. And so it feels, it makes sense to me that Jeremy Adams would, you know, throw in that character, you know. And I know Wade was, he was a character from the the Fraction, right? That that popped up. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's, I feel like it wasn't just from that. But yeah, I also feel like the way the story starts off with the birth of the kid, I'm waiting for some timey wimey stuff. I, I feel like Matt, they were implying with this name that that mm-hmm. was actually their son from the future. Who was? Do you think it was the son from the future, or do you think it was a, an alternate version of him, or maybe an alternate version? But yeah. I think I think there's supposed to be a implied connection there that he was always yes. a version of their new son. Yes, right. And I get that too. But uh, you know, for me, it wasn't just like oh, you know, it dawned on me maybe because I had I read Shazam right after I read this. That oh Wade like Mark Wade oh shoot, Flash great writer Mark Wade. I mean yeah maybe, maybe that maybe that is a homage to him. Yeah. Uh, so. But yeah so meanwhile Wally's going to Mister Terrific's place to uh, turn mm-hmm. on a big fancy gizmo thing. Yeah to to help out even though he's still on paternity leave. Yes. Which he, he lets he lets Holt know you know it'll yes. come in enough rate the money better be worth it. Uh, but the main big threat that's set up here for these last few issues uh, of, of Adam's run is that Granny Goodness shows up pretending to be a nurse and steals the baby. Okay, so what book did we just see Granny Goodness show up in? Was it Flash? What? Because I remember Granny showing up at the end of something, and I can't remember what it was. I've had no sleep, Ma. You're not going to get any I got you. Who was it? <laughs> I feel I, I want to say it was Danger Street because of all the Kirby stuff, but it wasn't. So I just remember Granny Goodness showing up at the end of something and being like, "Ooh, interesting." Um, yeah. But yeah, Granny showing up as a nurse and then what, taking what, was the was it baby. just the end of the last issue of Flash, Matt? Maybe I don't know, dude. I read too many comics. It at may this have point. been. It may have also just been the yeah. last issue of Flash teasing this. Maybe, maybe. But anyway, yeah. anyway, so Flash. there's an explosion at the hospital uh, after after Goodness nabs the baby. Uh, mm-hmm. And then out of this, you know, the, the the big collider thing that they were turning on, our man walks out and says, "Your baby's been kidnapped by Granny Goodness, and I'm here to help." Mm-hmm. And he has a whole thing where he was fighting a uh, what do you call it, extant uh, somewhere in the time stream, and he ended mm-hmm. up being pulled away because of everything going on with your kid, because your kid's connected to the Speed Force and time in a weird way, because it's because of you, Wally, because you're connected to time mm-hmm. and space in a weird way, right? So he explains all this shit. Linda's obviously pissed uh, and wants her kid back. And they have to get the 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 Willigog and all that shit, and they need to get the uh, all, all these things. So, what this is doing here, and this is where it started to come together. I mean, I enjoyed the start. I enjoyed the the family being happy and all the rest of it. Mm-hmm. But where it started to come together for me in this issue is that you know it's the last start mm-hmm. arc of the run, and it's like mm-hmm. this is where he should be pulling in things that he set up previously. So this is where, you know, we bring in other characters. Obviously, it ends uh-huh. with the wrestling guy, the tag team champion from yeah. the wrestling. Not whole- Many. Not Hulk Hogan. Yeah, but here yeah. we have uh, what Gold Beetle. Gold Beetle shows up, and the interesting thing here too is this is the first time she's meeting Wally. Yeah, that, this right? is like so. Yeah, so for her yeah. perspective, this is the first time, and then he's uh-huh. kind of he's excited by that because he's like, oh, right. now I get to be the one who knows things, yeah. and you don't have mm-hmm. a clue. Uh, yep. uh, Linda knows that this is going to be Jay's girlfriend someday, so that's mm-hmm. uh, an interesting little bit. Uh, Mr. Oh. Terrific brings in the Terrifics to go on this yep. mission, which I thought was interesting. With a, with a big T-shaped spaceship, I thought was hilarious. Yeah, he's got a big T-shaped mm-hmm. spaceship that says fair play in the bottom, and they're going mm-hmm. to fly. Wallace comes along as well, and yep. they're basically all off on a rescue mission to go get the kid back from Granny Goodness mm-hmm. and save the day. It's simple enough. And there's some banter. There's a fun yep. little Star Trek reference where uh, Wally says, make it so, which is a Captain Picard yep. line. Uh, also, Mr. Terrific being upset that Gold Beetle starts calling Wally the captain. And yeah. Terrific's like, that's not even, this is my ship. 
and yeah, there was just there's fun little banter throughout that yeah I've enjoyed now, from from Adams. So I am mostly had a good time with this. Obviously, it ends with just the, the wrestler dude like landing on top of the spaceship. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's they that, hit him like on the windshield. That that's the like, end hey. of the the issue. Yeah. I will say though, uh, the one thing that drags this down is the two different artists. Uh, Pissarro yeah. and Solid. I don't think I like Will Robson's art that much. It's very, yeah. I don't know, uh, simplistic. I guess I almost sounds really insulting, mm-hmm. but like, no. it's very lacking detail and it's very smooth. Yeah. There's not a lot of uh, depth to it, I guess. Yeah. Um, and I really felt the change when it kind of you know switched to it. You know, I, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I I can really feel this like. Because you look, see if you look at the first like page with them in the hospital yeah. and they're all hugging. There's so much detail in the page. There's so much detail yeah. in their hair and their faces and every. It looks really good. It's like, Persaron mm-hmm. is a solid artist. And then you get to the stuff on the spaceship towards the end, yeah. and like Wally's just like a, an oval. The, the top half's red, <laughs> and the bottom half yeah. skin. And there's like a mouth and some eyes, and that's it. And I, I know that sounds silly because obviously those details would always be there, mm-hmm. but I don't know. It just it, it goes really simplistic to me and. I think, you know, even if you like this art, I think you would still probably agree that it's a little jarring yeah. going from one to the other. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to double and remind it, because I read this early in the week, so... Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. It is It is kind of flat, right? Like... Yeah, it's flat. It's a good word for it, yeah. Mm-hmm. So... Kind of flat. But, yeah. But, but yeah, no. Also, um, the... The second time we were getting Hour Man showing up dealing with timey wimey stuff. So yeah, I wonder I, if there's yeah, I, something more to that. Yeah, I almost thought so. it was going to walk out and say your baby's been taken to an island where a bunch of kids yeah. are being held captive. And that's Me not too. and and maybe even this was going to explain why he was doing what he was doing in Stargirl. Yeah. It seems to be separate from that, so yeah. don't worry about it. But maybe yeah, maybe there will be some connection yeah. uh, down the line. Something well, and, and with the whole time point thing that we we've gotten through through Adams, I'm wondering if we're going to get you know, with the Golden Age and all this stuff where they're explaining hyper time and um, and all the other multiverse stuff, if we're going to get a kind of new Time Masters thing out of all of this. Actually, there is an interesting little connection here. A little detail is that mm-hmm. Adams is going to write that Jay Garrick story under with that Judy. Go- with Judy under that Golden mm-hmm. Age banner, which does connect him at least tangentially to the yeah. star girl mini mm-hmm. and in terms of like at least on some level he's continuing things that john's has set up so maybe he is setting up something here that's going yeah. to tie into that with our man that's yeah. that's entirely possible yeah but that was my first thing when it ended up being the the android version though i was like hmm okay Let, let's see where this goes but yeah no i'm i'm here for for the ride uh for the for the next issue at least and then to see where, you know, what he sets up in 800, you know, where he leaves things. Um, well, I wouldn't want like, him to set anything up. I'd want him to round things off and then let the new well, writer set things up. What I mean is, like, are we going to get a taste of that Jay Garrick story from from Adams in there? Or is uh, it going to be the end of his story? Or is he I don't think so. I don't think so, because that Jay Garrick story is set in the past. That's set in the 40s or whatever. Okay. So, I mean, maybe you'll get, like, a slight reference to it, but if Jay's yeah. there, maybe he'll say something about his past, but... Uh, then, then definitely, that's that's what I meant by studying things there, was, you know, dealing with that, now that we know that's the, the Flash story he's going to go to, that many, yeah. you know... For, for me, I just, I think this this final arc is, at least, it's ticking mm-hmm. some boxes for me right now, which is, like, these fun characters that you set up, uh, mm-hmm. Gold Beetle and the wrestler, like, that, it makes you feel like, okay, mm-hmm. all these things that he's set up over the course of his run are going to mm-hmm. be relevant here. And it wouldn't surprise mm-hmm. me if, like, Maxine helps the kids with something as well, because they've set yeah. up this relationship with the kids and the Animal Man family. Mm-hmm. I can see them playing into it at some point by the end. Like, all these yeah. things that we've done over the course of the run. Uh, right. So, uh, no, enjoyable. I mean, Flash is just mm-hmm. a... It's, like... I wouldn't say anything from Adam's run has been amazing. It's never been John's Flash run. It's never been, yeah. like, absurdly special. But it's been a very solid, fun, consistent thing. I, yeah. But it's just good. Not great, it's, it's but one it's those good. Books, it's one of those books when I when I go to download my stuff that I'm going to read for the week. Though when Flash is sitting there, I get excited. I'm like, oh, I get to read this this week. Hmm. You know? And very rarely has it disappointed like you said. So it's just been a very solid fun read that I can't wait to go back and get in trade now. Um, so I can reread it. It's definitely one I'm going to want to revisit in a couple of years. 
Yeah, it's a very easy read as well. I, you know, honestly, because mm -hmm. like, I mean, if we're rating the issue, like, you know, I'm pro probably giving this like a seven point five, which doesn't sound mm -hmm. like again, it, it, yeah. it doesn't reach like unimaginable heights, but it's just it's just really yeah. consistent and solid. And yeah, you know, that, that's that's nice to have in the in the I'll, repertoire. And I'll agree with the seven point five. That's uh, that's about right. I, mean, I, I could have kicked it to eight if the art in the back wasn't as you know, I like was said flat and, and yeah. the the art changing really does yes. drag it down a bit.